All right, before we move on and retrieve our RSS items from the internet, we first need to set something that was introduced in iOS 9, and that is App Transport Security. Now, App Transport Security was devised as a way to prevent unsecure connections from happening in your app. However, with an RSS reader, we're going to occasionally have insecure connections. It's just the nature of the business. So we have to disable this method of Apple's for authenticating connections. And the way we do that is by opening up our info.plist, right click, click add row, and then let's delete that. And over here where it says type select dictionary, and then we are going to call this NS app transport security. Then click the plus and we want allow arbitrary loads as Boolean and we want to change this to yes. And this just allows us to load anything within the app. If you have something that's not an RSS reader, it's worth actually keeping the transport security set because in future versions of iOS, it might actually require it. So it's just a somewhat of a future proofing. Okay, and let's discuss the elephant in the room. And that's this info.plist. If you recall in the data section, I said you can use plists for your data within your app if you so wish. Generally for default settings you would use it, but in our info.plist it tells Apple and the App Store and indeed your iOS devices what sort of things we support. So just an example is the supported interface orientations and if I click this down it allows portrait both bottom and upside down and landscape both ways. So in here are a bunch of things you can change, but I won't go into it now.